Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and connect Kartra to a lead tracker, and the lead tracker looks like this right here. Now, of course, you could change this to whatever suits your needs, but for the sake of example, this is what we're gonna fill out, and I'll have a link to this tracker down below, so if you wanna use this tracker, you can. Now, it's just a Google Sheet, and it'll automatically update with the date of lead, first name, last name, email address, phone number, the offer that they're signing up for, and then I have these attempt fields so you can keep track of how many times you've reached out to these individuals to see if they wanna come in and buy your product or service or whatever it is that you're offering. So your general lead tracking information and it's just a great way to keep things organized and all in one place. So in order to make this connection happen, you're going to need Kartra and you're gonna need a form in Kartra and I'm assuming you already have a form set up and it's on a squeeze page of some sort. If you don't have a form and a squeeze page set up, I have another video, go watch that one first. I'll link to it down below and then come back to this video and we'll jump into this tracker right here. You'll also need to know how to connect Kartra to Zapier. And if you don't know how to do that, I have a video on that as well and I'll have a link to that down below. So assuming you know how to connect to Zapier and you have a form, then come back to this video and let's continue onward. So the first thing we wanna go ahead and do is create a copy of this tracker on your Google Drive. If it's not on your Google Drive, you won't be able to add leads to it, so this is important. So to do it, just come up to File, and there'll be an option for Make a Copy. Now on, when you're looking at the file on your computer, you'll likely see like a Add to Google Drive or something like that, something along those lines. You don't wanna add it to your drive, you want to make a copy, okay? That's a big difference. So make a copy and Go ahead and pick out where you wanna go ahead and save your copy. I'm just gonna save it in this current folder for the sake of example, and I'll keep it called the copy of Cartridge Lead Tracker. So I'm not gonna change anything, but the big thing here is make a copy on your drive. Don't just add to your Google Drive. Got it? Good. So here's my sheet on my Google Drive. And now what I wanna do is, I'll just come to Cartridge real quick, and I'll show you my opt-in form so you know what I'm working with and you have an idea as well. So let me pop this up, and I click my button here. So this here is the opt-in form that I'll be using. We take in first name, last name, email address, phone number, and we have a custom field here. It's called, why are you contacting us, contacting us today? Now one downside currently about Kartra and Zapier and making this connection is that it does not transmit custom field data. So if you have any custom fields or custom data that you're requesting from somebody, well, unfortunately, it's not gonna go through. So that's a downside and hopefully this gets fixed once or once the integration, the Zapier integration becomes permanent or finalized. Right now it's in beta mode still, but hopefully once it's a full true integration, then you'll be able to transmit custom fields. But for the time being, you cannot. So that's one thing I wanna point out, no custom fields currently. But this is my form, so basic contact information, pretty standard stuff. And then, oh, there's my exit intent pop-up. And then let's go over to, to Zapier now, and I wanna go ahead and create my first Zap with Kartra. So I'll do create this Zap. And I wanna go ahead and do when lead fills out an opt-in form. Makes sense, right? Because it filled out my form. I wanna go ahead and trigger my app, or my Zap. And then we have to go ahead and connect Kartra to Zapier. And to do it, it's very self-explanatory. You just hit this connect an account option and you go through the process over here, get your API key, API password, plug it in and boom, you're good to go. So simple, easy enough. All right, so we're good. Save and continue. Then we gotta go ahead and select our form. So select our form. I got example opt-in form here. Hit continue. And we can load in samples. And there we go, got some sample data. Hit continue now. And now we're lacking an action step, so let's add one now. So let's click that option. And we wanna go ahead and select Sheets. So Google Sheets. And we wanna go ahead and create a spreadsheet row, because new lead, new row, makes sense. And you'll need to connect your Google account to Zapier. Again, same process, hit this connect and account button, follow the instructions on the screen, and you'll connect your account. Pretty simple, straightforward. Save and continue. Now we select the spreadsheet we wanna integrate with or connect to. There we go, copy of Kartra Lead Tracker. Select our worksheet. 
And now it'll bring in all of the fields that we have across the top. So data lead, first name, last name, email address, etc. And you see right here, data lead, first name, last name, email, phone, etc. All right, so the first thing we wanna do in this date of lead is I'm gonna insert a merge tag. So Zapier dates. And I'll include this down below this video so that way you can, you don't have to search for Zapier dates and get this merge tag. But we're looking for this Zap Meta Human Now. And when you insert, insert this into Zapier, it basically signals to Zapier to insert a human readable date. So that way it's not just like 10 numbers, it's actual date and you can read it. All right, so first name, you hit this little box over here on the right-hand side, and you got lead first name. There you go. Last name, lead last name. And you basically are just matching the fields that are on your form with the fields that are in your spreadsheet. Self-explanatory. Self email address, with the box, email address, phone, come on down. And if you can't find stuff right away, you can just hit search, phone, lead phone, simple enough. Offer, so if you have multiple squeeze pages going on and you have multiple offers, you don't want to keep track of the, the offers people are signing up for and they're all going on the same spreadsheet, you can go ahead and fill this out. So we pretend like this is a free demo offer. And then we got first attempt, second attempt, etc. And again, these are the attempts that the sales team are going to be making to reach out and get in contact with these people. So we'll just hit continue, leave that blank because we'd fill those out on the spreadsheet itself. All right, we'll go ahead and skip this test because we'll test in real time. I'll hit finish now. And I'll go ahead and turn my Zap live. And there we go, awesome, your Zap is working. And you also might want to rename your Zap. So demo lead tracker Zap. Cool, there we go. So my Zap is live. Now let's go ahead and actually test the thing, see if it's working. So let me come to my squeeze page and refresh it real quick and I'll click me now and then here's my name email address phone number and again this custom field will not transmit so I'm not gonna fill it out I'll hit download tips and there we go my form has been submitted I'm on my success page so if I come back over to my tracker we can see that there's a new lead here so we got the date of lead human readable date, first name, last name, email address, phone number, the offer they registered for, and then we could go ahead and give them a call. So pick up my phone, give them a call, be like, got, got in contact. They will come in on the 10th at 2 p.m. You can change the colors or whatever you gotta do in order to you know keep track. This, you can change these cells as much as you want to keep track of your people if you're unfamiliar with google sheets and how it works but it's just a sheet you keep track of it it'll automatically update as people fill out the form and you can keep track of your leads in another place other than in Kartra's system so hopefully you found this video helpful and i'll see you in the next one